Welcome to Graph Tutorials. I'm Shiva and in this video we're going to take a look at how to make an object, a live paint object, so you can use the live paint bucket. I have a couple of images here. I have a PNG image, I have a vector image, I have a type, a font, and I have a regular square. Um, let's start with the regular square. You select it and then you can make it a live paint object quite easily. You will have to select your live paint bucket. If you don't see that one visible in your, your side panel, you can click these three icons at the toolbar. Then you click this, well, hamburger icon and you choose advanced. And when you choose advanced, you get the live paint bucket tool beneath the shape builder tool. And you can also press K. So with the live paint bucket tool selected, you just have to hover uh, over your square. And as you can see, it makes it, it gives you the option to click and make a live paint group. Now, when you click, you have now made a live paint group. Easy as that. If you use the arrow keys, you can select the colors um, you want to use, and it will by default show the colors in the swatches. So if you select, let's say, this blue color, then it will show by default the color left to it and right to it. And then you can toggle that with the arrow keys and it just slides along with you. And then you click to paint. Now, that's for your regular rectangle, which you made in Illustrator. So for regular parts or compound parts, Parts, you can just use the live paint bucket tool and you click and you transform it into a live paint object. It's a bit different when you're talking about images, bitmap images, PNG images, JPEG images, vector images or type. Um, let's start with the type. It's the easiest of the three. With your type selected, you can right click and choose create outlines. When you've done that, you will take your Life Paint Bucket tool and then the same as with your rectangle, you click to make a Life Paint Bucket, a Life Paint Group. You get to see the colors from the swatches menu and then you click again. You use the arrow keys to toggle between the colors and you click when you want to change. That's for a type. So for a type, you right click, you create outlines, you take your paint bucket tool, you click to make a live paint object, and then you can live paint. Let's now go to the vector images. Vector images is quite easy. You select it, you go to object, and you choose expand. When it's expanded, you take your live paint bucket tool once again, and now you can paint. So you click, you get this notification if you have a complex visual appearance, Press OK, and then you can start painting with the Live Paint Bucket tool. As you can see here, you can paint all individual surfaces. And now for your bitmap, PNG, JPEG images, the last one we're going to take a look at, you select that image, go to Object, you choose Image Trace, and then you say Make and Expand. Now it's traced and it's expanded. You take your Live Paint Bucket tool and you see that it doesn't work. That's because now you also have to select that object. You go to Object and then again you choose Expand. And when you've chosen Expand and it's expanded, you can take your Live Paint Bucket tool and now you can use it. I will make another video about the options with the Live Paint Bucket tool, what you can do with it, how you can configure it. That will be for the next one. So that was it for this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you liked it. Also press that thumbs up button if you did. If you want to see my future videos, maybe also press the subscribe button. But for now, stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.